Well, Francia, yeah, obviously there's a, there's a strong grassroots uh, aspect to this. Yeah. Um, is it, um, how are you making this platform accessible to those communities? And you want to just, uh, you know, what yeah, I touched on earlier about the, 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 on, the on partnerships and, and all of that. Sure, yes. So the idea behind this is definitely to enhance platforms that are already there. Mm -hmm. um, myself and Lofi often talk about it. We, like you said as well, we're the first of our kind to do what we do. So we're not really competition and, and people regularly ask us, are you agents? Are you scouts mm -hmm. yourself? Um, absolutely not. We'd like to facilitate the process and we welcome agents to join up, you know, to, to be able to scout these, these youngsters. And mm -hmm. on the Soru um, Footprint partnership that you mentioned, I actually met the guys at Craven Week, a lovely bunch of guys, the guys from Footprint at Soru. Um, and what we, we talked and what we aim to do is to say, They've got a, a system um, where they, they monitor players who they've identified with great talent and what they're doing is, is really fantastic and I don't want to take anything away from them. Um, what we aim to do is, is not exactly what they're doing because they're doing great work. Um, we aim to assist them to say that if we potentially spot a few guys who have great potential, great talent, mm. if we see someone on the platform who fulfill the criteria that they're looking for, we'll push those guys as super mm. sports onto Soru and notify them to see if they can join up because ultimately for us, if someone goes through the Soru platform and becomes a springbok through Super Scouts, that would be our ultimate success. Mm. And uh, I mean, uh, it, on top of adding their sort of, like I said, their vitals, you know, their, their weight, their height, their beep test, etc. You can also yeah. upload, I believe, video footage. This is also great for, for clubs and universities who want to sh showcase the facilities they've yes. got. Yeah, 100% true. So the idea behind it is to say there's basics that a coach wants to know. He wants to know how many pull-ups can you do in your age group, what's mm. your height and your weight. But further from than that, I mean, rugby is also a subject of sport where you need to assess someone's talent. So just having a pure CV I'm up really where you say something about yourself and put a few stats doesn't show how you handle a ball, how you hit a ruck, how do you take a line out as a lock. And that's the type of thing that the platform facilitates, as you mentioned, is that when you upload photos and videos, it's on your profile. We also share it across social media and other players can see it. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that if I'm playing a rival school over the weekend, I can go have a look at what my position is, is doing, what, what they do. And then also, what, as Lofi also touched on earlier, and as you said now as well, what we'd love to do is for institutions to join up with us and say, listen, this is who we are. We are a school, we are a club, we are a union. Mm. We, whichever um, part you play in rugby, this is what we have to offer. Get the coaches involved, shoot a short video, have a few training tips, some financial advice if you want, life advice. It, it, we don't really... Um, prescribe what you can put on there. It's, it's, it's just a great platform for everyone to build their own brand, not only players and coaches, mm -hmm. but all the other um, brands associated with rugby as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, what success have you guys seen so far um, from the platform? Uh, I mean, what other partnerships have you got in the mix? I'm sure that you've spoken to your old mates at the Lions Rugby Union, etc. Yeah, yeah, again, again, we've had some great meetings. Yeah. Uh, Francois has seen the guys at the development uh, at the Lions. They are keen. Um, we've seen Grey College, Rugby 15, uh, Mizuno, uh, and everybody is sort of interested in getting involved. I just want to come back to something you touched. You know what's great about this? You can get Sipo from the rural areas, and he can take a little video of his mate tackling, running, kicking, and just putting that up. Uh, and uh, because in most of the international clubs now, uh, the first thing they ask is not a CV, it's footage. Mm -hmm. So I think that part I like a lot, you know, and you know what they say about a lazy fisherman? He fishes in the harbor because the lazy fish, they go there, they know there's always food. And I think that's where we're throwing our nets. What we would like to do is throw the nets much wider. Mm -hmm. And already I thought about, you know, going to the big schools. Uh, again, it's not only coupled to rugby, but go to big schools and, and maybe get bursaries, three or four bursaries, and get this talent from the rural areas, bring them in and get them into a rugby school. And when they've gone through the process, we won't have problems with transform transformation anymore. They will be transformed. I agree 100% that we are not transforming. Mm -hmm. We are, you know, we, we are basi basically taking the tip of the iceberg, which, which are the boys that are private schools that have got good coaching, good structures in place. Mm -hmm. But I think, uh, I see transformation and development, taking those kids, and, and it's, it's white, black, colored all over from the rural areas, getting them into systems, and when they, through the system, you can identify that guy can become a springbok, that guy can play super rugby, he can play curry cup, and that guy should play for the brand new coke team.
<laughs> but, the, but, but the passion all around mm. is still the same. Yeah, thanks, guys.